Hello, this is Tony Heller from RealClimateScience.com. In February of last year, experts announced that climate change caused by the burning of fossil fuels had opened up the Arctic Ocean for shipping year-round. And then a few months later, dozens of ships got trapped in the ice, and icebreakers had a very difficult time freeing them up. As of July 21st, both the Northern Sea Route and the Northwest Passage are blocked by thick ice. And as of July 22nd, there's no shipping traffic going on. This is a pleasure craft and this is a tug. In 1958, the Arctic was melting very quickly and the New York Times predicted that within the lifetime of their children, ships would be sailing over the North Pole. And they said that the ice in the Arctic Ocean was only about 7 feet or 2 meters thick. Which, according to the Danish Meteorological Institute, is about the same thickness it is today. Ships couldn't pass through 2 meter thick ice in 1958, and they can't do it in 2022 either. The public has been constantly exposed to this sort of anti-fossil fuel propaganda. There is no scientific basis to the superstition that carbon dioxide controls the amount of Arctic sea ice. Around the time Stonehenge was built, there was less ice in the Arctic Ocean, and it may have been periodically ice-free. The people who built Stonehenge did not have internal combustion engines at their disposal, and carbon dioxide levels in the atmosphere were much lower. Toto has been pulling back the curtain on this propaganda war against low-cost, reliable energy for the past 14 years. You can visit Toto, Kyrie, Caesar, Toki, and Upla on the web at realclimatescience.com.